Tell me when at which one you think is the best. Time reception. I made today for your new number of the week. Hmm, if last week was number nine, what could this number be? Hmm, our number of the week is <gasps> number 10. Now, number 10 is a two digit number, which means it has two numbers. So, two numbers, the two digit number, number 10. So, you think you could show me number 10 using your fingers? Number 10. It's all of our fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Number 10. Do you know what's one more than 10? Number 11. One more than 10 is 11. Can you say that? One more than 10 is 11. How about what's one less than 10? What number is one less than 10? One less than 10 is nine. Can you say that? One less than 10 is nine. Excellent. Now, Miss Chevens has got a Numicon. Our Numicon is representing number 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. I've also got some cubes here as well to represent ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I put my cubes in one tall tower here, but so I could have done it another way. Flip it in half and have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So two fives all together make ten. Now it's our last number story today. Tiger ten. Tiger ten. Let's find out why Tiger ten. It's called Tiger 10, shall we? Tiger 10 thinks he's the cleverest animal in the zoo. He is always strutting about his field with his head held high and his tail in the air. He likes to show off his 10 black stripes and sometimes he stops to straighten up his 10 whiskers. Oh, can you see his 10 stripes on his tail and his whiskers? Let's count his whiskers. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. When he meets someone, he says he is the cleverest animal in the zoo. Oh, do you think Tiger Ten is the cleverest animal in the zoo? One day, Tiger Ten was prancing about his field as usual when he met Naughty Nine. Look at me, said Tiger Ten. I am so clever. I can stretch my sharp claws. One by one, Tiger Ten flicked out each claw to show Naughty Nine. Elephants can't do that, taunted Tiger Ten. Naughty Nine just snorted and walked away smiling to himself. Next time, Tiger Ten wasn't looking. He was given a squirt of water with his trunk. <gasps> do you remember Naughty Nine from last week? The elephant using his trunk to squirt the water. I think he's going to get Tiger Ten. Tiger Ten strutted on until he met February 4, who was looking for some tasty berries to eat. Look at me, so Tiger Ten. My tongue is so long, I can lick round all my lips. Just to prove it, Tiger Ten stuck out his tongue as far as it would go and slowly licked all round his lips. Peacocks can't do that, taunted Tiger Ten. He's not being very kind to the other animals. February 4 was far too busy looking for berries and didn't take any notice of Tiger Ten. On and on strolled Tiger Ten until he met Penguin Number One, who was swimming in the penguin pool. Look at me, said Tiger Ten. I'm so clever. I can make my long tail stay straight up in the air. With a quick flick, Tiger Ten put his tail straight up in the air. Penguins can't do that, taunted Tiger Ten. But Penguin Number One was making so much noise, splashing the pool, he couldn't hear anything Tiger Ten said.
Next, Tiger Tim pranced up to Spotty Seven, who was munching on the leaves at the top of her favourite tree. Look at me, Tiger Tim. I'm so clever, I can growl louder than anybody else. Then Tiger Tim opened his mouth and gave a loud growl. Grrr. Spotty Seven stopped munching and looked down at Tiger Tim. Did you say something? She smiled. Tiger Tim opened his mouth and gave a huge grrr. Spotty Seven shook her head and said, I can't hear you. By now, Tiger Tim was so angry, he opened his mouth and gave the most enormous growl. Grrr! This growl was so loud that the leaves on the trees began to tremble. Then the branches shook and something fell from high in the tree. It was a wasp's nest. When the nest landed on the ground, ten angry wasps swarmed out of it. Zzz, they buzzed loudly. Silly Tiger Ten, said Spotty Seven. Even the tiny wasp can buzz louder than you. But Tiger Ten was nowhere to be seen. He had run away as fast as he could before the wasps realised who had made their nest fall down. <gasps> Oh dear. <laughs> Tiger Ten wasn't very kind, was he? Showing off showing off to everybody what he could do. It's good that we're all good at different things, but telling somebody else is not very good. That's not a good choice, not very kind. Now you've got your number ten job to do. So on one side you need to use your counting finger to count, and then on the other side you're going to practice writing a number ten. So as you remember, straight down for your number one and then a circle for your zero. So our number of the week is number 10. See you later reception.